In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create AI generated text effects with the new Adobe Firefly beta. To get started, open any web browser and then head to firefly.adobe.com. And since Firefly is still in beta, you first need to apply and then get accepted in. The process is super easy and Adobe's pretty quick at getting you approved, so do that first if you haven't. I made a video showing you how to do that in the past and I'll put a link below to it. Once you're on the Firefly homepage and you are logged in though, you'll see text effects inside of the tryout section. Choose generate right here. You can then scroll through the next page showing examples of different text effects that have already been created. You can choose one of these or at the bottom, type the word that you wanna create and then next to that, describe the effect that you wanna have on it. I'll just type firefly and I want the text to have some flames. When you're done, hit generate or just hit enter. You'll then get a generated output of the word and your text effect that you chose. You can choose from a few of the different generated styles here at the bottom or hit refresh for more options. On the right, we have even more effects controls. First, at the top, you have some more sample effects that you can choose from, like if you want wood or flowers or a ton of other ones. Under that, you have the fit. The default is medium, but if you want the effect to stick to the letter, you can then choose tight, or if you want the effect to be bigger, say if I want these flames to go out even further, then you can choose loose. Next after that, you can then choose from a few of the different default fonts or choose view all for even more options. And finally, at the bottom, you can change the background to whatever you want, or you can keep it transparent like it is by default, and you can also change the color of the font itself. You can play around with the different options you have inside of here, and when you're done, you can copy or download the image. To copy or submit it to the Firefly Gallery, choose the three dots here and then make your choice. But if you wanna download the image to use wherever you want, select Download, choose where you wanna download the image to, like on your desktop, and then hit Save. The first time that you download an image from Firefly, you're gonna get a transparency and AI prompt that just lets you know that on the images that you download from Firefly, it's gonna say it was created with AI inside of Firefly. You can then take that file and upload it or edit even further in a program like Photoshop. And that's how you create text effects with the new Adobe Firefly AI beta.